some more podcasting for you, some more PSA for you, some more questions coming at you. Holy smokes, this is awesome. Look at this first one here. Again, it says to solve. So when we're solving, yep, that has to be zero. But I want to show you something. Look at this. 2x squared minus 2x minus 12 equals to zero. But we got a problem here. We've never solved anything with a 2 up front. But look what I wrote over here to remind you what we have to do first. Sometimes you might have to GCF first. So if you actually factor out a 2 here, look what happens. That means dividing this, this, and this by 2, giving you an x squared minus x minus 6. Now, you can PSA. Check it out. PSA. Your product here is minus 6. Your sum here is minus 1. Two numbers together to give you minus 6 to add up to minus 1. You know, well, you might be able to figure that out in your head right now. Look at that. Minus 3 and positive 2. Minus 3 plus 2 gives us our minus 1. So our answer is minus 3 and 2. And if you remember this from grade 10, you had to put the 2 up front. So this is x minus 3, x plus 2. But remember, this all equals to 0 at this point. Well, that becomes a bit of a dilemma here. What do we do about this 2? Well, remember, that 2 is multiplied here. So why don't we just divide out a 2 from both sides, and let's get rid of it. Check out what happens. Check out what happens. This is the best part of this being equal to 0. The 2s cancel out, leaving you x minus 3 and x plus 2. But what is 0 divided by 2? It's 0. So in other words, think about this. When I had the 2 up front here, okay, and my answers are going to be minus 2, by the way, and positive 3, I had a very narrow graph, right? But by eliminating that 2 like this, I have a regular-looking graph that's going to come down, and guess what? Even though it's regular-looking graph, guess what? It's still going to give me minus 2 and 3 is my answer. A lot of people can handle that. But it's important to realize that no matter what you do here, if you stick to what I taught you, look, look, right? This is x equals to 3, x equals to minus 2. It doesn't matter what this looks like. It's the answer that matters. It's just like your journey. It doesn't matter what your journey is as long as you get there. Same kind of idea for this question. I think it's really cool.